Right guys, so some so, something pretty big dropped today. A Call of Duty goes to Fire and Ice leaked trailer. It's about 30 seconds long and I've seen people uploading it and this message, if I've got it on screen for you guys, did come up on one video. Basically, the video was removed by Activision and I'm going to quote now based on copyright grounds. So Activision actually removed the video from YouTube, gave it the, gave the channel a strike and that video is now gone. There are now a couple other channels out there, these tend to be smaller channels who upload the videos because they're not too sure about copyright strikes and so on. Um, but I'd urge you guys, if you see this trailer, do not upload it, first of all because it's actually fake, and second of all, you will get a channel strike if you're partnered with any company. Um, or any MCN just like I am. So the way I, I'm going to talk about this for a while guys because the way I know that this video is fake is the audio clips sound legitimate, that's fine, and the background actually looks quite good. It is a good fake, but there is a way to tell and it's halfway through the video it sort of skips from one story to another. It's not a fluid voiceover in the background, the, the actual video looks fine, it could be legitimate, it could be a teaser. This isn't a reveal trailer, and this isn't a leaked audio image, it's sort of a leaked reveal teaser trailer. If I can find a link to one, I'll put it in the description down below for you guys so that you can watch it. Um, but it does sort of stop at one stage, and there's a sort of blurred image in the background for a split second, and then it goes over, and then it starts again. But there were some people, and I looked at the comment section of these different videos, because as soon as I watched one, it would get taken down. I looked in the comment section, people saying some of the audio was taken from another game, and Charlie Intel have actually stated on Twitter as well that the video is fake. You guys will be asking, why have Activision copyrighted it? Normally when they copyright something, it is actually true. If somebody uploads a uh, zombies gameplay early, for example, and they're not allowed to and they don't have the rights to, it will be removed because it's the actual game. The same as if you've got a copyright image in the game, they do have the right as they own it to remove it. But in this case, the, re the message was slightly different. It said, based on copyright grounds. The reason for this is, and, and you guys might be asking, well, how Max, you made fan-made trailers for Space Warfare and for Ghost 2. Why weren't those removed if, if they're spreading face in, uh, fo fo false information? That's because in that video, I took clips from their actual games that were released and that were official. Um, and I also added my own clips that I made. Um, and I stated that it was a fan-made trailer. This person and these people who have uploaded it have called it an official Okay, so an official trailer for the game, and they called it Fire and Ice. There is no way that the next Call of Duty game will be called Fire and Ice, and it is no way it will be called Call of Duty Ghost 2. We've already covered this on my channel. So the reason why Activision removed it, most likely, obviously I'm speaking on behalf of them, I don't actually have direct information from them, obviously, um, is simply because they don't want people spreading false information about their new game. We are due for a trailer around anytime soon, so stay tuned on my channel to see what that trailer will be, but I thought I'd share this information with you guys. Do not be fooled by this Fire and Ice trailer. It will, once again, it will be in the description down below if I can find one, probably to an external website. Um, it is fake. It's not confirmed, it's not legitimate, and the people up who uploaded this originally, it's a 30 second clip, said there is more to come. So first of all, it's not too fluid. Activision removed it, not because it's real, but because they don't want the spreading of false information to occur. Charlie Intel also stated that it was fake, alongside many other people, such as myself, who watched it and noticed that it wasn't as fluid as it could be. There are a few sort of errors, but the audio was quite good, and overall, it was a very good um, fake reveal trailer. Hopefully, this this helped you guys. We're closing in on 15,500 subscribers, so if you're new to the channel, please remember to hit the uh, subscribe button down below. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed, and there will also be uploading later on, or around now, a 141 for 11 kill gameplay that I got on Nuketown yesterday with the VMP. That's my best gameplay on my channel. It has been taken from theater mode um so it's not you know it's not as good as it could be but i simply forgot to record but anyway i'll see you guys over on the next video but if you close your eyes